Chase. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. After adjusting the mesh and running it, we have a solved simulation. However, it doesn't just immediately give us what we want to see. We need to ask it questions so it'll answer. To start, I just want to see a kind of general display of the path the flow follows. This can be done using flow trajectories. I'll right click on that and select insert. This is a little different with external flow than it is with internal. If this were internal, we would likely select the face of one of our lids that would show the flow from there through the system. But in this case, we don't have lids or really any bounding bodies, so we need to do this a little different. I'll use the pattern on shape option, and we get this line. We don't want just a line though, so I'll switch that to a rectangle and then move it up toward the top, since that's where the fan will be pulling air from. We expect the flow to travel from top to bottom. I want more starting points, so I'll type in 100 here. We have two options here, static or dynamic. For now, let's keep dynamic, but switch to spheres just because I think that looks cleaner than arrows. Everything else looks good, so I'll accept and it'll create it. At first, it kind of looks messy, but if we right click and play it, it shows more of the actual motion which helps us visualize much better. If we edit the definition, we can change it to static trajectories. Let's keep it as pipes, but decrease the width to about half of what it is. I'll accept that, and we can see the entire path at one time. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.